What's up guys, Dark Dally here with my friend Casbo. And today I wanna to show you guys a great stealth build that we've been coming up with. Now I may have put something in the title like best stealth build and I don't use, it's not a word I use lightly. I don't use best loadout lightly. We've gone through several selections of SMGs and assault rifles and other weapons and now this is a stealth build that you want to use close quarters. The last video where I showed, you know, the last best loadout video was best loadout for basically loud close quarters combat. Now we're going to do the same thing, only it's really close quarters. So we're talking melee kills and pistol kills. If you have to resort to something, we've got an SMG for that. If you need something else, we've got a good a uh, AR here set up for that. Now, I do want to mention, uh, and a lot of people are going to comment this, one of the best weapons for uh, stealth killing would be the crossbow. I personally am just not a crossbow fan. So I wanna say, before I go ahead and advertise the MP5, which you can see I'm holding an MP5, you can replace the MP5 with the crossbow. Casbo, what's your feelings on the crossbow? Uh, my feelings on the crossbow, I've completed uh, Fallen Ghosts, and I will say, uh, pretty damn good stealth weapon, but I, I can understand why some people won't be such a fan of it. Yeah, you know, I play this game because I like firearms and the crossbows kind of turned me off. Maybe maybe if I was like playing Skyrim or something, <laughs> that's not an insult to anyone who plays with the crossbow in this game. It's an awesome weapon. I understand it makes zero noise from what I hear, and I do know you can pick up the ammo from it. But, so here, let me show you guys the loadout we're running. Actually, before the loadout, let's show you guys some action. Uh, here's the base we're going to be hitting. We're going to be hitting this base right here. This is uh, just a uh, random... Unidad Outpost is kind of set up in two parts out here in uh, Central Kiwani. Looks like a good place to start a uh, stealth assault. We won't be doing any sniping. Everything is going to be done with pistols and close quarters combat until we're forced to, or, you know, if we have to, SMG and then AR. The reason we go, the reason we do that is this. Um, so the smaller the weapon suppressed, the, the smaller the noise radius. For instance, I can, you know, we can shoot a target with a pistol in one room and the guy in the next room may not hear it. An assault rifle suppressed, the sound's going to travel a little further. That's one reason I have the weapons set up the way I do. I'm going to enter the base with my pistol, and I'll show you the weapons we're using. I'm going to enter the base with my pistol. Now, the reason I have, this is specific. I have, notice I have the MP5 on my right shoulder, and I have the M4 on my left shoulder. We tried many weapons, trust me. We spent several hours the other night going through weapons, finding the best stealth weapons, and this is what we came up with. The reason they're on the shoulders they are is all I have to do is tap the button one time and it swaps to my primary, which is which is the SMG. You want to have your primary weapon on your right shoulder. That way, when you swap from your pistol, you've already got it and you don't have to, have to hit, you know, well, I'm on PlayStation, so for me, it's triangle. All right, so we'll just say, you know, PlayStation controls. That way, I don't have to hit triangle again to get my main weapon. When I have my pistol out, I simply tap triangle and I got my next weapon out. If I need to do a little, if I need to, you know, get a little more busy there, right? Now... If the enemy is aware, the SMG, you know, let's say you break your stealth, the SMG is not as effective. That's why we have the assault rifle as a backup. Two different ammo pools, two different damage metrics, etc. Let's go ahead and have a look at the weapons, guys. Sorry to hold you, you know, up so long there. Let me show you the build that we're using. I thought the outfit was kind of cool, too. If you guys want to know what outfits we're using, we can definitely have that in a future video. I chose the Lady Killer as the gun for the number one stealth build. I don't see anyone disagreeing with me on that one look a pistol's a pistol they're all pretty much the same suppressed they're all going to drop them in one shot nothing really matters no one's going to disagree the lady killer is one sweet sexy stealth weapon and so that's what i chose for this particular stealth build right here let's move up the list to the assault rifle let's let's move to our primary weapon actually we chose the mp5 uh casbo you agree with that yeah we, bo we both agree on the mp5 yeah yeah we both agree on the mp5 yeah, and here's the, the setup we're running on it. Let's go to the parts. And I'll tell you why we have the parts. Here's the parts I'm running. I'm not exactly sure what he's running. Let me check something. I'm running a standard. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm running the extended buttstock to try to keep the recoil down as much as possible. Granted, uh, SMGs don't have much vertical recoil, but why not? Scope, the, the optics are totally up to you. Optics is totally, totally, totally up to you. I'm just I'm running the extended mag. I'm running a shift short angled grip to keep my shot group a little tighter. These things tend to zigzag a little bit. All the SMGs do it. The shift short will keep your, your uh, shot grouping a little more, uh, not so quite, you know, horizontal. As you see, I'm playing co-op and with no HUD. The laser sight is a great cooperative tool. I'm told it reduces recoil. 
I've been told that before and I've tested it before. I personally have not found a result, but can't possibly hurt. And as I'm playing with no HUD on extreme with a teammate, it's a great tool to have. I'm running the shortest barrel I can. It says it does less damage, but I'll tell you what, an SMG is no good out of stealth anyway because it's going to take like half a magazine to drop a guy. So you, it doesn't matter what, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of damage you do. We just need to get bullets down range and we need a quick, short, maneuverable weapon. That's why we're running these attachments. Let's move to our secondary weapon, which is the M4A1. And let's have a look at what parts I decided to put on this guy. Now, this is, again, this is short and compact as I can make it. This build is mostly meant to be used pistol, karambit, SMG. And if you have to, you switch to this thing. We're not taking any, any long shots, everything. We're, our goal is to do this with, with pistol and melee. Stock butt stock again. Optic is your choice. I never put restrictions in optics because they really don't really they really don't affect anything, guys. Four grip P4 to keep the recoil down on the M4. Whereas SMGs tend to recoil sideways, assault rifles tend to recoil up more. The four grip V4 keeps it more more uh, more straight up and down, and it keeps it more down. Right, laser sight for the exact same reasons I said for the MP5. We're running the shortest barrel we can because we're not going to be engaging any targets behind probably 30 meters, to be quite honest. And there we go. There's our stealth loadout. Now what I want to do is I want to test it. Now keep it, my guys, I'm very bad at stealth. I'm a loud player, as you guys know. I like to be loud and proud <laughs> with my weapons and cause a lot of ruckus. So this is Dark Alley trying to be sneaky. The next video will be sneaky in a different way. The next video will be loud stealth. And well, I guess you guys have to wait for that one. I'm moving in with a pistol. Now our the goal of this build being close quarters stealth the ideal thing to do would be if we could take everyone with melee. You know what? I'm running towards... We're going towards a foot entrance over here. I think I kind of want to close up on the wall because I don't want to get line of sight with that sniper. I'm going to circle around south where he hopefully can't see me and close up on the tower so then he can't get line of sight on me. And he just moved inside. He's looking the other way, though. And, okay, I'm on the wall. Okay, there we go. That's how you do that. Warning, guys, I'm not good at stealth. All right. But we do believe this to be a very good stealth loadout. Where are you at? I am at the base of the sniper tower on the outside of the wall. Oh, uh, I see right you. Beside you. Yeah, I see you. All right, I'm right behind you. We're going to move in. Our first priority is that sniper because we don't want to engage anything long range. First priority is the sniper and then, of course, anything on our way to him. All right, what's the status on the guys on the chopper pad? Okay, there's one over there. Sniper, okay, let's hold uh, Let's hold until the sniper goes back inside because he looks pretty poised to spot us right now. The sniper's out on the balcony. Once that sniper yeah. runs in, we can close in on the tower. Oh, he's going back in. Okay, he's walking back in. Let's, uh, let's move up. Uh, no. Uh, oh, shit. No, no, no. Cover, yeah. cover, cover. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, he went back inside. I didn't think he would. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. There's a guy right beside me. Got him. I hope he didn't see that body. Uh, sniper didn't know us. Sniper didn't know us. We're good. Whew. I didn't know there was going to be a guy there. <laughs> I thought that was you for a second. <laughs> oh, the beauty of... Uh, uh, yeah. Improv stealth. There's, oh, sniper's on the thing again. He's looking back that way. I'm going to move up a step. You know, actually, I can probably uh, just run right up, actually. Hold up. No, he's looking this way. As soon as he looks away. All right. He's looking away. I'm, I'm rushing the tower. Same here. Same here. So we made it to the tower without getting spotted. Let's get this guy down, and then the rest of the base, the rest of this half of the base should be easy. All right. Go, go, go. On your call. All uh, right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Mailing. All right, that's sniper down. From up here, we can get a pretty good bird's eye view. I saw three at one point down on the helipad. We can um, uh, sometimes. So. Sometimes there's only two. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, no, it looks only. Like, no, there's only two. We're good. All right, there's two on the Once pad the right now. The Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this opportunity. I'm gonna I'm gonna circle north, where we came from. Um, uh, I'm staying put. Copy that. Oh, there's that guy right there. Uh, uh, the third, 
Your tango's uh, sa safe out of it. I got him. I'm running back. Right. He spotted one me because the thing kind of... Okay. One He's... sec. I'll get the other one. All right. I know there's a third out here somewhere. Ah, shit. Uh, third one's coming in, I think. Where's he coming from? Third one's coming in. Third one's coming in uh, from the uh, road. Okay. Go okay, I got two down. We're, we All should right, be clear here. Okay, we should be clear All here. Right. Yeah, I had to... Uh, uh, take out the jammer. Let's take out the jammer. All right, so our goal here is to take this entire base without being spotted. Now, I don't have a HUD to see if we've been hunted, but so far as I know, that we have had a couple uh, of alerts. We're undetected. We're good. We're yeah, good. we're still undetected. This part of the base is clear. Oh, Uno dead on the road. Uno dead on the road. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, shit. That was, down. that was bad fucking timing right when I crested the stairs. We need to cross the road to the other side of the base, and that was some bad timing. Let me see if I can peek out and see right. if they saw us or not. Everyone's good. We're good. Everyone's We're, gone. All right. We're going to cross the road to, uh... and look for a foot entrance. All right. I'm going pistol. So that's how I would like to take the base if I could. Pistol and melee, man. This is all nice. stealth. There is a... Yep. Here we go. We got a foot entrance here. Tango coming in. One sec. Let me just uh, do some pro gamer moving right now. All right. Right through the tent. Nice. Let's check these tents one by one. We don't want anyone getting past us. Uh, let's head towards that sniper tower. The sniper is actually visible okay. on the balcony, but we can get... Uh, let's head west to the sniper tower first. Let's get a, me let's just get a melee kill for, uh, you know... Oh. Melee, kills, melee kills are always the goal, and, and stealth is the way I see it. I'm gonna, hey, hold up before you ad advance in the tower. I'm right behind you. I'm coming up the tower right... Oops. Let's All get, right. get in the door. <laughs> I'm coming up the stairs behind you. All right, I'm on uh, your six. It's right on the, uh... All right. Nice kill. All right, we got us a view from up here. We do have an alarm right there. We got us, One uh... Sec. I'm... One sec. Uh, two tangos uh, on the outside. Let me get them. Copy that. Oh, I see the other one. Got him. Nice shots. Okay, I see one inside under the water tower. I'd rather take him. Let's take him with a pistol if we can. Taking stuff with a pistol is just so satisfying. Let's see if I can get this guy with a pistol or uh, CQC. Yeah, but, but like long range SMG uh, headshots are just really uh, satisfying. Let's check these tents as well. Yeah. I'm going to advance on this guy that, that just passed under the water tower, but first, uh, this tent's clear. Clear, clear. Yeah. All right. Uh, take take down. The, no, we got a guy at the gate. Not take we got a guy uh, at the gate. He's alone. He's alone. Go take him, and I'll move in on this guy. First, I'm gonna check the uh, got got an armory here. Armory is clear. Next, I'm gonna move to the comms building. Over on the comms. west side. Oh shit. Uh, I got a I got a tango right here. I'll hey. take him with a pistol. All right. He's down. I'm approaching. I'm approaching the uh, comms building. All right. I'm right on your six. Looks like, an L Looks like we got an LT. All right. We'll just CQC see him. Nice. Nice work. This is a Damn, pretty good stealth build. Admit... So far, I've made uh, use of the MP5, the M4. I haven't used any stealth yet. I need, oh, here. I'll melee. I'll melee this guy. I haven't used my melee yet. This is my turn to melee. Watch yeah, my uh, actually, watch my three o'clock. Watch my six while I do this. I'm gonna melee this guy just so I can say I used every weapon in my toolbox. Oh no, I did melee that one guy. That's right. All right, he's down. I think we cleared yeah, the whole base. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. So in, vic in victory, I will take down the alarm. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't even take down the alarm. All right, guys. So yeah, I got... tried to use every tool I had in my toolbox. There, both of us did. Um. This build focuses largely on pistol kills, melee kills, and um, I wanted to test it out. I wanted to test it out for you guys. We have not rehearsed this. Verify that, uh, Casbo. We did not rehearse this, did we? We did not rehearse this. We had a general battle plan. We won't lie. We had a general battle plan from that uh, mountaintop up there as to how, but we, you know, 
I'm going to get down for this chopper. But uh, no, we did not rehearse this. This was our first run. This is a good stealth build. I was able to use, I think I used the M4 at one point. I was able to use the M4, the MP5, my Karambit, and of course the Lady Killer. The goal of this build is close, uh, close range kills, going with your, your pistol or melee. I mean, melee is mostly like a pride thing, really, because the pistol works just as good. The melee, let's face oh, it, is yeah, mostly yeah. a pride. Oh, we got a convoy? Okay. Uh, yeah. Taking cover over here. The, let's, let's admit it, guys. Melee is mostly about pride. It's mostly about wanting to see that cool animation. That's why we have the Echelon gloves, the Cavera gloves, the Executioner gloves, etc. You know, because it's all about looking cool. So, really, the basis is the pistol. You notice I pulled out my MP5 when he said there was a third target on the helipad, and then I saw there was also a fourth. I, I was able to quickly switch to my MP5 and tap him down. Guys, that's how this build is played. This is, a, as far as, I, as I'm concerned, the best stealth build. And this is coming from, again, you, know, you guys know I've tested a lot of weapons. This is probably about the best you're going to get. Only way you're going to get any better than this is if you use the crossbow instead of the MP5 here. Now, I'm not, just, I'm not a crossbow guy. I'd rather use a firearm. That said, other weapons that we tested and tried, because a lot of people are going to say they like this or that. We tried the Vector. Actually, I tried the Vector first. For SMG considerations, we tried the Vector. Yeah, we tested some, and we took Mini into consideration. We took the Scorpion EVO 3 into consideration. We took the P90 into consideration. We took Mini SMGs into consideration. The MP5 really came out the winner. Guys, just like the P416, this is a starter weapon. Do not take it for granted. Do not put it down because it's a starter weapon and its stats are low. This is an incredible weapon, and any uh, serious stealth killer in this game will know this is a seriously good stealth weapon. For the rifle, we did get the, we went through several rifles, including the uh, ACAR, the uh, SR3M, the oh shit, I forget. We went MK16. through the Mark 16. Yeah, we tried that. We tried the Mark 18. We went through several rifles before landing on the M4, and both of us agreed the M4 and this particular setup was simply best suited for this to pair with the MP5. Uh, Caspo, do you have any closing words or anything for this video? Any closing thoughts on, on what, all the hours we put into testing this and we were finally able to do a base and stealth. What are your thoughts? Well, my my uh, thoughts, my closing thoughts is uh, I didn't actually get to use the M4, but I, if I were to use the M4, it would be to be as kind of a DMR or less than an assault rifle. Oh, well, at least in regards to stealth. Like, there's only so far the MP5 can get, so, you know, having a longer range weapon is definitely needed. Yeah, but of course, we were trying to, for the sake of the build, kill everything as closely as possible. My goal was, I like using the pistol. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is really the best close-range stealth loadout that, that I can muster. That I think, and it's going to depend on your play style and how you play. We've given you the where, the how, the why, the what. Guys, uh, try it out, have fun with it. Work with the teammate. And uh, practice your stealth skills. The next video, the next uh, loadout is going to be a stealth loadout, but it's going to be something you don't expect. It's going to be a loud stealth loadout. And um, I have an interesting strategy for that because you guys know I like to run loud. That that's 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 my bag. That's where I run comfortable is in loud. And that's what we're doing next. I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right, guys. This is Dark Dally. This is Caspo. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.